Well, tonight's Mets Pirates game was four hours from start to finish, but the good news for the Mets is it turned out just fine. They took the first in a four game set with Pittsburgh 13 to four on the backs of a 10 run bottom of the sixth inning. Seven of those runs in the inning came from home runs, three from a three run shot from Pete Alonso, just his second home run at City Field this year, and then a grand slam from Francisco Lindor, the Mets first grand slam of 2021. Actually, the only man who didn't come around to score in that bottom of the sixth inning was Jonathan Villar. And Villar actually homered twice in the game himself, both solo shots from opposite sides of the plate. Just the 10th man ever to do that, the 24th time in franchise history. On the hill tonight for New York, and one of his lesser efforts was Taiwan Walker, only throwing five innings at baseball, but only allowing four hits and two earned runs, keeping his ERA at a solid 2.50 as we head into the All-Star break. Oh, and by the way, Luis Rojas announced at the beginning of the press conference tonight, the post game, that Taiwan Walker had just been named to the National League All Star team. So, congratulations to Taiwan Walker. Well deserved. <laughs> but what really happened tonight that made the game take so long was a 41 minute rain delay that happened in the bottom of the eighth inning, at which point the score was already 13 to 3 minutes. I mean, really? come on. Also, shout out to the 40-ish fans by my count who stuck around for the full nine innings tonight. So the Mets maintain a four-and-a-half game lead in the division coming into tomorrow's doubleheader with the Pirates, but Sam Davis can tell you all about that tomorrow because, quite frankly, I'm really tired. So for WFUV Sports, I'm Dylan Balsamo.